Danny Varela with us now. And, uh, Danny, what a burst back onto the scene for you this last week at one point Cornell and then Carolina. You won 16 faceoffs in a row. What's this been like for you this year? It's got to be tough. You lose your starting job. But to, to hang on with it and still be an important role of what's yeah, going on here. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's definitely been a roller coaster. But, um, you know, I talk to my brother every day, and he always just tells me just, you know, stay focused with the task at hand and, you know, just focus on, you know, having the team win and contribute to that. And, you know, at first I was like, yeah, but, you know, the more I saw our team be successful and, you know, me only getting in and taking five face-offs and winning what I could, mm -hmm. um, the more, like, content I got with just kind of having a role where I can just contribute any way, shape, or form to help our team win. And, um, you know, as the season goes on, I think I'm getting more content with just, you know, getting ready when my name gets called. And, you know, I feel comfortable right now. I feel good. So, um, you know, I think going into this part of the season, everything matters and you know, I got to do everything perfectly. So I'm not really worried about the job right now. I'm just kind of worried about helping my team win. I guess when you look at the big picture of the team and faceoffs, you and Jacob Fopp have, do have slightly different styles, so the right. coaches can opt for one or the other. What's that like early part of the game where you guys are sort of evaluating what's going on, I guess seeing who will be the best option out there? Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty interesting, but you know pretty soon mm -hmm. um, what the pace of the game will be. And then, you know, it could change throughout, you know, the fourth quarter. Obviously, it changed a little bit, but... Um, usually you can tell the first five faceoffs what you know what the uh, pace of the game is going to be like, um, and usually Jake starts off hot. So and we ride the hot hand. You know that's kind of been the moral of the story um, this year. Um, you know which is which is completely fine. I mean you got to ride the right the right hot hand in any position on the field. So um, yeah, it, you know big, in the beginning of the game it's it's you know obviously we do we do our scouting all week. We know our opponent. Um, yeah, but it, it it definitely shows. It kind of gives you a preview of the of the pace of the game. And this last game, hey, Jacob started out slow. He only won one of the first three. You go in there quickly and literally win the next 10 yeah. face-offs of the game. What goes on mentally for you during that point where, where you know you and the Wings have it cooking out there? Um, yeah, I, I, I knew, but I tried my hardest to just kind of stay, you know, stay unsatisfied throughout it. Mm -hmm. You know, um, you know, I just wanted to go 1-0, and 1-0, and, and just win the next face-off. Um, and, you know, the more I won, the more I got into my rhythm, and I kind of felt good, and, you know, I really got to kind of, you know, channel my uh, channel my emotions, not get too high, not get too low, and just you know, kind of focus on the task at hand. And just go one and up. You mentioned your brother. Obviously, you versus Joe was an unbelievable storyline last year, and yeah. I think if any fan of not the two teams watched it, that's like a movie ending for yeah. you. It, it wasn't. Right. What's that like a year later? Where for you personally, that could not have been your favorite moment, but for your family, it's one of like the all-time lacrosse things that could have happened. Yeah, no, it's definitely definitely a big moment for my family. But um, yeah, you know, I think this year it's obviously. You know, tough to walk into the locker room every day and, you know, see my brother score the game-winning goal. But, you know, I'll turn the TV off, TV off every time I walk in. But, um, no, I mean, I, I, think it's, I think it's better. You know, there's less distractions, less, uh, you know, less hype around the game. I can kind of, you know, it's easier to focus now. Um, you know, it wasn't hard last time, but it was just a lot going on. My, I had to worry about getting, you know, getting 15 complimentary tickets from my teammates. And, you know, it, it was just it, a lot of it sounded, it was more of like a, like a UFC fight than a game. So uh, a lot of hype around it, but it's good now. So, you know, I get to kind of relax and focus on my game and focus on what I can do better. And, um, yeah, a year later, there's definitely some old memories coming back. But, um, you know, I think, it, you know, I think I'm just motivated to do well. Obviously a little different than this last week. The Solomon brothers were literally at the opposite end of the field. You two were face-to-face -face for most of the game. Yeah. But now you go down to Navy. I would say your brother's graduated and moved on. Is there any measure of revenge you can take when, when he's not the one opposite there? Or how does that go? Um, it's funny. I actually had a dream last night about it. I was like, that I score the game-winning goal, which probably won't happen. But, uh, you know, it was funny that, you know, Joe was like, oh, maybe you can return the favor this week. And then, uh, you know, because he deploys tomorrow, so I talked to him yesterday. But, um, yeah, I mean, I, I guess the only way I can return the favor is help our team win, you know, so I guess that's it. And I'd say, I guess that's the other side of the thing that we have to talk about with right. somebody that went to the Navy, that your brother, A, hey, is in the military now for, yeah. what, at least five years. Yeah. Uh, where's your brother going? Do you even know where your brother's going uh, or what, what he's getting involved in? Yeah, yeah, he, I talked to him a lot. Um, you know, he's, he's excited. He's ready to go. He's been wanting this for a long time. He's a hardworking kid and uh, a hardworking man, but I think, uh, yeah, he's, he's nervous, but he's excited. Um, I think he starts off, I want to say, in Barcelona, and then after that, it's kind of confidential. So, um, yeah, he's, he's going to have a good time. He's going to enjoy it. He'll be able to email us. So I'll be able to keep in touch with him throughout the season. Um, but, yeah, he's, he's, he's doing well. He'll, he'll enjoy it. All right, always a reminder that there's a bigger picture. Uh, we wish your brother uh, safety, and uh, you good luck here this awesome. weekend. Thanks, Brian. Appreciate Thanks, it. Danny.